Ohio Edison, a first energy company. Para español, diga español. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality. You have reached our emergency outage reporting center. If your call is not related to a power outage, please hang up and call the customer service phone number listed on your bill. If this is a life-threatening emergency, please hang up now and dial 911. What's the 10-digit phone number associated with your account? Or say the account number, and I'll ask you for that instead. Please hang up. Great. Is the beginning of the address 315? Please say yes or no. Yes. No. Okay. As a reminder, please remember to safely check your breakers or fuses. Are you calling to report a complete loss of power? No. Which of these are you currently experiencing? A partial loss of power, a dim light, a street light problem, or another type of power problem? A partial outage. Okay, you're having a partial power outage. Say back up if that's not right. Please remain on the line while I get your outage reported. We often call back customers after making repair. Sorry, I didn't understand if you said yes or no. We often call back customers after making repairs to verify the status of their electric service. So, regardless of the time, would you like us to call to confirm your power is back on? Yes. Please say yes. Would you like us to call at this number, 2349560872, please say yes or no. Yes. Great. I can also offer a courtesy wake-up call within the next 24 hours. Would you like to schedule one? No, thank you. Sorry, I didn't understand if you said yes or no. If you would like to schedule a wake-up call within the next 24 hours, please say yes. Otherwise, say no. No. Okay, before I give you your confirmation number, would you like to sign up for text alerts to receive future outage updates and notifications when planned outages are scheduled? Yes or no? No. Okay. I'll continue without signing you up for text alerts. I'll ask you about signing up on another day. Please note that you can also sign up on our website at www.firstenergycorp.com forward slash my account. Your power problem is now in our system. We're working to restore your power as soon as possible. Let me give you your confirmation number. Your confirmation number is 7640606. Five, and the estimated time to have your power restored will be by approximately 11 o'clock a.m. on October 2nd, 2022. Would you like to hear that again? Please say yes or no. No. We are working to resolve your problem as soon as possible. Remember, treat all downed wires as live and dangerous. Thank you for calling Ohio Edison. Goodbye. Okay, so check this out. The power, this partial outage is taking place in every room. Okay, so that's my bedroom, the kitchen. Not every room, but pretty much across the three. So my bedroom, the kitchen, and this living room. Um, so in this living room is the corner. They got mad. Let me show you. Today is the second of October. They got mad about me moving the totes. Well, they got mad about a lot of things last night. But me moving the totes from over there in that corner and putting them over here in this corner um, struck some interest.
So that's where the totes are right now. Um, and they threw a fit about that. And then they um, were mad about the smell of laundry. So one of the things, you know, I did laundry yesterday. But also I have um, a motion detector light and a um, Febreze like laundry thing in the wall in my bedroom. They said that that was like conflicting with the area and then that they were trying to claim. And then they um, they didn't want the lights on near my bed. But you know I found a way around that and I plugged, ran an extension cord. But my Keurig, they had a problem. I was making a cup of coffee at night because often when I do that, I'm, I'm able to go to sleep. I took a sleep aid and everything. They would not allow me to sleep. Okay, so they got mad when they see me um, go to turn the coffee, the Keurig on. And that's kind of when, no, they cut the power before that. But yeah, they were mad about the Keurig. Um, so I w it's still off. Does it work? Like I said, there's something, an issue in all three rooms um, where a portion of the power is out and um, to move is it, not even an option to move these things around. Like, there's no other space for my Keurig. There's no other space for this lamp and in my bedroom, you know, like... That would probably be the least problematic as the two. But, oh, this, that's what I wanted to tell you. They were trying to make sure that I didn't turn this light on in here. So, you know, um, she had been turning her light on to claim that she was me. And put a light in her space to claim that she was me. I saw something on my shirt. But, um, puss, and, um, they also were... You know, there was a lot of cursing and smell, spelling going on last night about the meter which lives next door. And this me turning on the light in this in my living room, they also associate with being her. They put three pounds on me last night to make sure that none of the weight was put on put back on any of them. So that two thirty four and two thirty seven, they're going back and forth with that. Acting like they take it off, put it back on. Acting like they took it off, putting it back on. Acting like they're took it, taking it off and putting it back on. Um, and claiming that it was others that had my um, activity. You know, I sweated all fucking day yesterday. Moved nonstop and they did that. And that's all the fucking time. So anyhow... I'm going to fuck they asses up. But they were trying to make sure this light didn't, that I didn't turn this light on. No matter what. And her son was down there fucking around with some shit. Had an attitude. Was acting like I was compromising his op. Because he was being faced with them putting fat back on him. And it didn't help that I made a purchase. They got mad also that I made a purchase. It's the beginning of the month and they trying to claim I'm a broke crackhead. They were also complaining about they were going to have to put accounts in the places they were supposed to be. So I told you when they look at accounts, they're lying about who they claiming they belong to. And they were talking about they were going to lose their minds. It pretty much they had to look at me the way that they were supposed to and pin all my behavior on me. Right now they're talking about how they were trying to hide the space that they were claiming that they can't get into. And they also were trying to push me out of my apartment. apartment thinking that I <clears throat> thinking that I will go for a drive at 4 a.m. Oh, hi, Wilson. Hello. Yeah, hi. This is hi, Wilson. Yes, hi. Um, my name is Tequila Oliver. And I called about a power outage, a partial outage, that is. Um, I actually spoke with someone last night. A crew was sent out. They checked the side of the house, but um, okay. this took place around 3 a.m. So they weren't able to get into the apartment downstairs. It's a duplex upstairs and downstairs unit to check the breaker. 
Um, I'm still having the same issue in three rooms. I have a portion of the power out. One's near my refrigerator. The other is in my bedroom. And then in my living room where my light is. Yeah, see, what the, the issue is, even if I sensibly back out, we're not, we're not really supposed to come inside and look at anything on the inside. We just kind of check bullets on the outside of the home at the meter base. Um, so if, if there's a breaker that's off somewhere, then you don't have access to it. You're probably going to have to call your, your maintenance department or um, and see if they can't get in. If um, Is this a duplex or is this an apartment? Duplex. Okay, yeah. So I would try to find your breakers and see if you can't reset them. Uh, if we have somebody out there already, I'm sure they checked holders on the outside of the home. Um, let me see if I can find to order here. Okay. Oh, uh, this is Upland. There it is right there, okay. Let's see, let's get some notes here. They, they did say they put a new meter at your house. Oh, they did? They said it. Um, yeah, installed new meter. Yeah, it looks like that's where you installed a new meter on the outside. Okay. Um, and that was a that was actually at five o'clock in the morning. Looks like they were out there. No, yeah, they me, they were gone by five. That, it took place at three. Yeah, yeah. Right. So let me put it this way: that was the time that uh, they called and reported what they had. So they probably cleared up another call or two. They called in with what they found. So, but no, it looks I like see. as far as I'm concerned, they troubleshot everything from the outside, and they they said you need a new meter. And, and they would not have left if you weren't getting good voltage after that. So it kind of tells me there's something going on on the inside of the home. Right. Um, so I don't, like I said, I don't know if you have a landlord you can call and tell them that you're having some voltage problems and Ohio has already been out and looked everything over. Okay, I'm going to try to get in touch with, uh, with the maintenance guys. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so that's kind of what... I was expecting and what they t the fed the feds are expecting they knew what was going to happen okay so you know the landlord's not answering my calls okay he's not responding to my texts and messages and um i'm not talking to the bitch downstairs at all like i'm trying to i, I could kill her any day now so i'm going to call I got a maintenance guy's number now. I can call them and tell them that I'm having an issue and um, go from there. Let me, matter of fact, while we're at it. And I didn't want to have to do this because, you know, kind of rubbed the one maintenance guy the wrong way after I told him I, I didn't want to talk to him. Says got mad about it. Hello, Garland. Oh, yeah. Hi, it's Tequila. I'm so sorry to bother you on Sunday morning. No, you're fine. Okay. Um, I'm having a partial outage at my place. I've um, had Ohio Edison come out. When they came out last night, they did install a new meter. Um, but I'm still experiencing the same issue. They said pretty much it's coming from the inside and someone needs to get a hold of the breaker. So what's taking place is... Um, I haven't been able to get the landlord to to answer my call recently. I want to see if you have Don's number or either could you relay the message? Yeah, I can do so. Well, just let him know it's going out or I mean when you say partial outage, what is out? Partial outage means that um only no, I, know, I mean as far as in your house, what part is oh, not working? 
the part um there's an outlet near the refrigerator that's not working where my Keurig is at and then the living room there that side of the wall isn't working where both outlets is so that means I can't cut on a lamp or anything um and in my bedroom there's also a wall with outlets that's not working okay so three rooms are affected so we have to we have to give it to them in the basement did they have an outage a complete outage over there no no it was just this area okay. um just this apartment that's having the issue okay okay um give me a second i'll try to contact somebody are you going to be home today because we might try to get in there just to see you to break our trip but that should be in the basement it's in the basement, yeah. I don't have access to it. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm uh, trying to see if we can get a hold of her. Okay. Uh, get over in there. I got you. Give me a second. Uh, um, let me get myself together because I tried to sleep in today and I can't do it. I can't. Not because of you. I just oh, can't no. Sleep in. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's not because of you. I just can't sleep in. I'll be trying. Well, and look. You know, I understand how that is. So you should take some more time. Yeah. Look, don't don't call now. Don't don't worry about it right now. Wait till about noon, one o'clock. I'm sorry. Like I want you no, to try no, 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 to. No, no, I want no, no. you. You know, I'm I not believe in. Go back to sleep. <laughs> Look, I you was know. I was already when you called. I was already up. Okay. I just got up probably about ten minutes ago. Well, you should still I try. Go back. No, I get it done. Oh I get man. Get paperwork done anyway. <laughs> Man, I'll make some phone calls. I tell one of them that I can't go do it, and make them go do it. I'll oh. do that. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tell them I'm out of town. I'm like, Man, I'm in Columbus. Man. You, no, yeah, I was just I'm about to do. say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me see what I can do. I'll call you back. Okay, thank you. Uh, bye bye. They said so they're going to know that they're downstairs fucking with shit at the same time. And that they also said after that they said because she don't lie about nothing. Right now they're talking about how they can't put me at Kelly's door. Moments ago they were talking about the landlord. They said that he was trying to leave the city and claimed that he wasn't in the same headspace. They're talking about how they were Down syndrome and kids like they were supposed to. They further attacked my weight. So they're talking about right now, like all the things, how society, the world in general was supposed to shift behind the information that I was disclosing and how they continue to hide it, attack me and pretty much preserve themselves. They just gave me another shot of my vagina. That's about the fourth one this morning. Right now they're talking about how they're disturbed and scared. They said they found out that I'm not schizophrenic and a particular agent, this female agent, she's saying that she kept putting them up, people up to doing stuff to me. So she was saying that they found out I'm not schizophrenic and that she keeps putting people up to doing stuff to me. But it's all of the agents, like it's all those involved. Um, she talks more than the rest. She curses and spells like literally nonstop. The bitch don't shut up. And on top of that, she's digging into my back with science. So look, what I meant to say was, state was, I had a standing appointment. And you know, I've had that appointment with the VA since last year for October 6th. I think that appointment was made probably around October or November of last year. But anyhow, it was a standing appointment. And um, I never forgot about that. But you haven't, you hadn't heard me mention it because I couldn't access that information immediately. The date, every time I see it, the date was always there. Or either when I was recording, I, you know, think of it, it would come in mind. But never while in the middle of one of these videos. And you know, there had been a little bit of back and forth. Like I talked, I, when I spoke with the one female who's scheduling. She uh, was pretty much saying that I, I had a date for September or whatever, which was incorrect. But, you know, I don't never take up matters with the wrong wrong person. So I didn't bother to um, get into that with her or the standing appointment that I knew about. But 
I was gonna push it back and push it off, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Hold on, my breakfast is done. What it looks like today. Right now they're talking about how these people are losing their places at every place and which pretty much means that they're losing the identities that they have they said they know that they um lie on me to get people to look at situations the wrong way oh. good in you all right i'll you at a bad time huh i'll you at a bad time no 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 Okay, I talked to the young lady, or well, the lady downstairs, about going into the basement to try to switch the breakers, and she says, you know, I have a problem with it. She didn't let me in, so it's up to you if you're at home or not. Okay, well, what, what do you think about cup? Do you want a cup now? Yeah, I can uh, leave uh, where I'm at in probably like five minutes and take you drive by. Probably, I can be there in probably about 15, 20 minutes. Well, look, take your time. Is that going to interfere? No, it's not. I was about to say, take your time. I'm going to be here anyhow today. Okay. All right. I'll be there in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. See you soon. Come on. Thank you. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I'm going to get out of these ratchet pants.